In 1947, a young Bedouin shepherd boy was tending his flock of sheep at Qumran on the banks of the Dead Sea. After hearing one of his idly thrown rocks strike a ceramic pot inside a nearby empty cave, the boy found within the broken pot pages of ancient texts. A total of 850 sacred texts were eventually discovered all around 2,000 years old. These scriptures, now known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, contained many details about an ancient spiritual group called the Essenes. Other teachings of the Essenes have been unearthed from the secret archives of the Vatican. The Essenes were often found in communities where meditation or prayer was an important part of daily life that was dedicated to God. The faithful carried within a beautiful light, the light of God, and this light was to be shared with other inhabitants of the earth. With respect for all forms of life, the Essenes' diet was purely vegetarian. Today we present the ancient wisdom of the Essenes with excerpts from the Essene Gospel of Peace, Book 3. The Angel of Power Thine, O Heavenly Father, was the power when Thou didst order a path for each of us and all. What is the deed well done? It is that done by the children of light, who regard the law as before all other things. The best of all gifts, therefore, do I beseech of Thee, of Thou best of beings, Heavenly Father, that the holy law shall rule within us through Thy angel of power. I do approach thee with my invocations that thy great gifts of power will protect thy heavenly order and thy creative mind within us forever. We will extol thee, Heavenly Father, O Almighty King, and we will bless thy power forever and ever, so long as we be able and may have the power, so long will we teach the people concerning these deeds to be done by them with faith toward the Heavenly Father, the Earthly Mother, the Holy Angels and all the children of light who till the soil of the Garden of the Brotherhood and in the desire for the coming of the Heavenly Ark into their souls and their bodies. Thine, O Heavenly Father, was the power Yea, thine, O Creator of love, was the understanding and the spirit, when thou didst order a path for each of us and all. Through thy power shall we go unto the people, and teach them, saying, Trust in the law, and walk in the ways of the holy angels. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed from the feast table of the earthly mother. Delight thyself also in the power of the Heavenly Father, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Let not arrogancy come out of thy mouth. For the Heavenly Father doth rule by the holy law, and by him actions are weighed. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The power of the law maketh poor and maketh rich. His power bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, and maketh them inherit the throne of glory. Out of heaven shall he thunder. Upon the children of darkness, the Lord shall judge with power the ends of the earth. Hear the voices of the brothers who cry out in the wilderness and barren desert. Prepare ye the way of the law. Make straight the paths of the heavenly Father and the earthly mother and all the holy angels of the day and of the night. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the power of the law. We extol thee, Heavenly Father, for thou hast lifted us up. O Lord, our almighty, powerful Father, we cried unto thee, and thou hast healed us. From the grave thou hast brought up the souls of the people, thou hast kept them alive, that they should not go down to the pit. O Heavenly Father, thou art the law, early and late will we seek thy angels, 
our souls thirsteth for the law, our flesh longeth for the law. A river of holy power is the law in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Our lips shall praise thy power while we live. We will lift up our hands in thy name. We will preserve, we will nurture thy heavenly order through the fulfillment of deeds. We will invoke and pronounce by day and by night thy holy power, and that power shall come to help us. It will be as if there were a thousand angels watching over one man. Unto thee, Heavenly Father, belongeth all power, and also unto thee belongeth mercy. For the Holy Lord doth render to every man according to his work. The Angel of Love Love is stronger than the currents of deep waters. Love is stronger than death. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of the Heavenly Father. And everyone that loveth is born of the Heavenly Father and the earthly mother, and knoweth the angels. Ye shall love one another, as the Heavenly Father hath loved you. For the Heavenly Father is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the Heavenly Father, and the Heavenly Father in him. Let him that love him be as the Son, when he goeth forth in his might. Brothers, be ye all of one mind, having endless love and compassion for one another. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself if a man say, I love the heavenly Father, but hate my brother. He is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the heavenly Father whom he hath not seen? He who loveth the heavenly Father loveth also his brother. Love ye also the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. It is said by the people, Better a dinner of herbs where love is, than a store dogs and hatred therewith. Loving words are sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of love as a flowing brook. What doth the law require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with the angels? By this do we know that the angel of love doth dwell in us, when we love the heavenly Father, and keep his law. Gracious love, creator of love, reveal the best words through thy divine mind living within us. Say to the children of light who till the soil in the garden of the brotherhood, honor all men, love the brotherhood, obey the law. The Angel of Wisdom To follow the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by Him thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. All wisdom cometh from the Heavenly Father, and is with Him forever. Through the Holy Law doth the Angel of Wisdom guide the children of light, who can number the sand of the sea and the drops of rain and the days of eternity? Who can find out the height of heaven and the breadth of the earth and the deep and wisdom? Wisdom hath been created before all things. One may heal with goodness, one may heal with justice, one may heal with herbs, one may heal with the wise word. Amongst all the remedies, this one is the healing one that heals with the wise word. And one it is that will best drive away sickness from the bodies of the faithful, for wisdom is the best healing of all remedies. To follow the holy law is the crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are the gifts of the angels. We would draw near unto thee, O heavenly Father. With the help of thy angel of wisdom, who guides us by means of thy heavenly order, and with the actions and the words inspired by thy holy wisdom. 
come to us, Heavenly Father, with thy creative mind, and do thou who bestoweth gifts through thy heavenly order, bestow alike the long-lasting gift of wisdom upon the children of light, that this life might be spent in holy service in the garden of the brotherhood, in the realm of thy good mind, incarnate in our minds, the path of wisdom doth flow from the heavenly order, wherein doth dwell the sacred tree of life. In what fashion is manifest thy law, O Heavenly Father? The Heavenly Father makes answer, By good thought, in perfect unity with wisdom, O child of light. What is the word well spoken? It is the blessing bestowed word of wisdom. What is the thought well thought? It is that which the child of light thinketh, the one who holdeth the holy thought, to be the most of value of all things else. So shall the child of light grow in concentration and communion, and he may develop wisdom, and thus shall he continue until all the mysteries of the infinite garden, where standeth the tree of life, shall be revealed to him. Then shall he say these victorious words, O Heavenly Father, give unto me my task, for the building of thy kingdom on earth through good thoughts, good words, good deeds, which shall be for the child of light, his most precious gift. O thou heavenly order and thou universal mind, I will worship thee and the heavenly Father, because of whom the creative mind within us is causing the imperishable kingdom to progress. Holy wisdom maketh all men free from fear, wide of heart and easy of conscience, Holy wisdom, the understanding that unfolds forever, continually, without end, and is not acquired through the holy scrolls. It is ignorance that ruineth most people, both amongst those who have died and those who shall die. When ignorance will be replaced by holy wisdom, then will sweetness and fatness come back again to our land and to our fields with health and healing, with fullness and increase and growth, and abundance of corn and of grass, and rivers of peace shall flow through the desert. The Angel of Peace For the earth shall be filled with the peace of the Heavenly Father, as the waters cover the sea, I will invoke the Angel of Peace, whose breath is friendly, whose hand is clothed in power. In the reign of peace there is neither hunger nor thirst, neither cold wind nor hot wind, neither old age nor death. In the reign of peace both animals and men shall be undying, waters and plants shall be undrying, and the food of life shall be never failing. It is said that the mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills righteousness. There shall be peace as long as the sun and moon endure, throughout all generations. Peace shall come down like rain upon mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In the reign of peace shall the law grow strong, and the children of light shall have dominion, from sea to sea, unto the ends of the earth, the reign of peace hath its source. In the heavenly Father, by his strength he setteth fast the mountains. He maketh the outgoings of morning and evening to rejoice in the light. He bringeth to earth the river of the law to water and enrich it. He maketh soft the earth with showers. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness and the little hills rejoice on every saddle. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy, they also sing. O Heavenly Father, bring unto thy earth the reign of peace. Then shall we remember the words of him who taught of old the children of light. I give the peace of thy earthly mother to thy body, and the peace of thy heavenly Father to thy spirit, and let the peace of both reign among the sons of men. Come to me all that are weary, and that suffer in strife and affliction, for my peace will strengthen thee and comfort thee, for my peace is exceeding full of joy. Wherefore do I always greet thee after this manner? Peace be with thee. 
Do thou always therefore so greet one another, that upon thy body may descend the peace of thy earthly mother, and upon thy spirit the peace of thy heavenly Father. And then wilt thou find peace also among thyselves, for the kingdom of the law is within thee. And return to thy brothers, give thy peace to them also, for happy are they that strive for peace, for they will find the peace of the heavenly Father, and give to everyone thy peace, even as I have given my peace unto thee, for my peace is of God, peace be with thee. Thank you for joining us for Between Master and Disciples. Up next is Animal World, our co-inhabitants, right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. We bid you farewell, and God bless your days with ever more joy and tranquility. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.